As Premier Daniel Andrews flew out on his official visit to India, it was left to James Molino to reassure Victorians about the state's emergency warning system after Hawaii's ballistic missile false alarm. I'm, I'm not aware of that particular incident in Hawaii, um, but there is a really stringent process in terms of um, putting alerts on our emergency alert system. This morning, the acting Premier was touting a new early warning system for the city loop, with 240 new CCTV cameras set to be installed to help detect trespassers. That will deliver immediate notification to the operator if there's anyone trespassing on the tracks. It came just a few hours after Metro was forced to replace trains with buses on nine lines for urgent late night maintenance. On Saturday night we had some power issues at one of the substations. Uh, as a result we undertook significant maintenance work last night at the Melbourne East substation. Trains were back up and running for this morning's peak as the government unveiled final plans for a new entry to Flinders Street Station, providing direct access from the Sandridge Bridge to Platform 10. While the new entry should provide some short-term relief, authorities acknowledge they'll need to undertake more work to cope with the extra passengers expected to use the station when the Metro Tunnel opens in 2026. We'll continue to, uh, to provide the additional capacity and to widen the access points to ensure the Flinders Street Station continues to be a station for the current but also for the future. The new entry is due to open in April. Andrew Lund, Nine News.